the project today and for the next 18 months is a book about the building of the human body and I've been working on it on and off for the last three years now. It's something I wanted to do 15 or 20 years ago, but I was too smart. I knew it was going to be too complicated. But I wanted to know how the body worked. I wanted to know how all the bits and pieces went together, why they looked the way they did, and so on and so forth. So I've decided to do it. I've decided to give it the time it takes. I'm going to take an anatomy course, and I've done all the reading, lots of reading so far. I'm still looking for that concept. I'm still looking for that big structure that will tie it all together. But I'm spending time in an anatomy lab and working with wonderful people who are amazingly generous with, with their knowledge and their information and with their enthusiasm for that information. And that's contagious. That really is part of what keeps me going. They're opening my eyes to seeing the body the way I want to see it, but had never, had never seen it. So, you know, I'm right at this point, I'm looking at the basic systems and all that sort of stuff and trying to decide on what kind of perspective, what kind of point of view I will take to presenting this information. I mean, here's, the, here's what we've got. We've got shelves and shelves of books on anatomy and physiology and so on and so forth. And you really have to ask yourself, do we need another book on the human body? Well, I believe we could find room for one if it makes the information accessible in a way that the others might not, or that many of the others might not. And that may sound a little arrogant, but that's my goal, is to, is to create, to find some way of making this information, which is widely available, a little bit more accessible to the average reader.